Hi and welcome to Sociology 1, Introduction to Sociology. Now I'm going to give you an overview of where everything is in Blackboard. Now you're seeing a particular version that looks more, you know, it's more faculty oriented. But let's go into the Sociology shell. Now again, you're not seeing something that you would normally see. This is a faculty version, so I'm going to go and change it into a student view. There you go. Now this is typically what you'll see. You enter in, you get to the announcements, make sure you please watch the announce or read the announcements completely to make sure you don't miss out on anything. Now this first one is just an introductory component. I should also say that this is an asynchronous class, which just means there's no class time that we all have to meet at the same time. You can take everything that's in this class at your own time or time of the day. If you feel like working at 2 in the morning, feel free. If you feel like working at 10 in the morning, feel free. That's asynchronous. And so, in this, I'm going to walk through this bit here. Now, you can see where it says video will be here. That won't be here when you watch this video. It's going to be a little confusing. I'm making this video right now. This is what you're watching is what I was going to put here and what will be there. I'm going to look through the basic documents, show you where things are, how I organize my shell. I'll walk you through how to post your assignment and your journals. They are both posted in what Blackboard knows as a journal. The journals are different from your assignment. Your assignment is a video and assignment. Your journals are reflections. But they're both going to be posted in a journal. I'll show you how to do postings in a journal and I'll show you basically how to complete a test. And then I'll walk through some of the major folders just to give you an idea what's there and to remind you that once things get posted as content they will be there all semester long. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is show you some things on this side as your toolbar. Now, your grades are right here. So when you click on grades, any, anything that you did worthy of getting a grade, when it's posted in Blackboard, you can access it here. Tools, that varies from faculty fac to faculty as to how they'll use this or even if they'll use this. Um, most, in fact, everything for this class that you need you will access through these three points right here your announcements weekly learnings where everything is according to your syllabus and contacting Steve so let's touch base with contacting Steve that's my email it's a Georgian College email so please always email me with your Georgian College account I'm not able to respond to personal email accounts because the Ontario Privacy Commission has asked us to only respond to students when they use the college emails now I don't have a virtual office hour because my classes are asynchronous and you have some classes that are and some that are synchronous it's difficult for me to come up with a specific time by which you can meet with me via Skype, WebEx, or MS Teams. So we're going to do this based on an appointment. You will let me know via email and we'll set up something that we can do a, a, a chat with. That's not a problem for me. I'm happy to do it. Now it's really important that um, you keep in touch with your faculty and in this case it's me. So if you've got questions please arrange to do a WebEx, Skype or MS team or email me. Please don't let it sit and be wondering and then ask another student. It's best to keep in touch with your faculty. Now let's have a look at weekly learning. This is where the bulk of what I've made available for you is going to live for the entire semester. So we click on there and this is going to be outlined very similar to your syllabus. Uh, the first two, well, your syllabus assignments live up here. Some support videos I've made are there. But the rest of it is week by week throughout the semester. And in each folder, it's kind of like a folder with a filing cabinet. And it matches your syllabus. So it's why it's really important, uh, one, to download your, your syllabus, but also to make note of the dates when things open and when things closed. So let's start with syllabus and assignments. We'll click here. Now we're pulling up your syllabus and assignments, journals. Now every time that I post either a document, you're seeing in red here the Sociology 1 syllabus for the fall. So that's what you're going to need to click on. If you're on a PC, you'd right click 
and save target as and then you could save this PDF to your computer somewhere. Save it where you can find it. Now if you're on a Mac, one of the easier ways, and I'm going to open it anyway because I want to show you it quickly. There's your syllabus, but what I'm saying about week by week, there's week one, week two, week three, so that's folder week one, folder week two, folder week three, and that's the content that will be in, including journals and tests. Now for the Mac to download, you come up to the right hand corner and there should be a little download button either here or there, either way will allow you to do it. And you click and it will allow you to download the file. Alrighty, I would recommend highly that you, that you download all of these files and have them available for you and your journal. Now you'll notice that there are videos and you will probably be understanding them quite clearly, but I want to make sure you're clear about all the options that you have available. So first you just click here to start it. Hi. Hi. Now we're going to go over your... <laughs> so feel free to do that, but I would also say, suggest you might want to go full screen. So just click, it goes full screen, and you just go escape, and it goes back. Now the other thing to pay attention to, where it says HD here, that just means it's in high definition, and that's really good. It ha I, I, I set all my settings for my cameras set up to be as high definition. If it doesn't come across that way to you, you just click here and move it from whatever it's already highlighted to and click on 1080p. Now if you're hearing impaired or if you prefer to see some closed catch catch captioning, sorry, click there and it will allow you to do that. Okay, all the videos are set up that way. Now in the assignment, now download the assignment, read it carefully, watch the video completely. Then if you have additional questions that you would like me to help you with, then email me or contact me via WebEx, Skype, or MS uh, Teams. Please don't ask me how, what the assignment's about without having read it first. I've added your sociology topic list these are just samples. They're not mandatory. They're just helping you get an idea. Now, if you're stuck, use one of the ideas. Now, because this is a video and assignment, you're going to make a video, and Screencast-O-Matic is the software I recommend you use. And in this video that I've made, I walk you through how to do it. And really, it's more straightforward than you think. I would really recommend in the first two weeks, watch this video to see what it's involved in it and set up an account. Please do not leave your assignment to the last minute. It makes it very hard for me to help you when you call me or contact me three days before the assignments due. There's not a lot I can do to help you. So please watch this video and ask me questions then. Now, in addition, you have journals and this will just walk you through basically what's expected in a journal. And I've also added your course outline. It's kind of your agreement, your contract with the college and yourself. What's expected and what are the um, relationships to um, essential skills that employers are looking for. And then lastly in this particular section, and I've posted this video in numerous locations in the shell, and these are online success tips that I put together. Now they're clustered into time management, which is really important when you're in an asynchronous, even if you're in synchronous, you really need to organize your time in the course of a week to get all your work done. And so I go through some basic tips on time management. Now, one of the areas that in our COVID times, in our online education times, is internet connectivity at home. This is a big one because you might have several students in sharing a room and everyone has devices. In this video, I walk through some solutions to having weak Wi-Fi. Sometimes what happens is either you get an inconsistent signal or you get a drop sig signal. These are not things that as a faculty I can help you with. So in this video, I walk through some solutions on how to improve your at-home connectivity. And then lastly, I touch base on the supports that are available to you throughout this, uh, through, it, through our college system to help you be successful in an online class. So take some time to read, or sorry, to watch this video. It'll be helpful for you, I think. 
So that's syllabus and assignments, and I can't emphasize enough how important it is to ensure that you download and make note of these um, dates and times. Now we're going to move to um, support videos. Now I want to point out, in navigating, you can either go back to weekly learnings here, or you can come up here to weekly learnings and click. In support videos, there I have the online success tips again. So if you missed it in a syllabus and assignment, you might catch it here. This is the Screencast-O-Matic overview. Again, I put it in here as well. Now in the library, because you're doing some research, you're going to have to go and use the library. And there's a this video just walks through a very simple how to do a basic search and get information that's in a PDF format that you can then later post. Also, what's really important that before you can even use the library uh, services, you need to get access to a remote access PIN number. So you contact your librarian. It'll be on the site, and I'll show you basically where in that video. But you contact the library, and they'll get you access to an online uh, remote access PIN number. And then you can use the library resources from home. And you must use that for your assignment. Now, in relationship to the um, success strategies, online success tips, and in particular time management, the use of a calendar is really important. Everybody seems to have a device, whether it's a cell phone or a tablet, certainly your computer. Being able to use your calendars on those devices can set up the due dates, the open and close dates, and when you're going to start on an assignment or when you're going to start your studying. It's important that you don't just put the end date, but you also put a start date. So this will help you with that. And then here we have um, a video that helps you with transferring your document into a PDF. I only accept PDF documents being posted. PDFs are assurances that whatever you've created, I can see it exactly as you've created it. If you were to post a WordPerfect or Word document or some online Word uh, processing software, I might not be able to open it. And if I can't open it or I can't read it, I can't mark it. Put it in a PDF, whether you're using a Mac or a PC. And then lastly, I put the uh, topics for the sociology assignment here as well, just in case you missed it in the other area. I will often do duplicates to ensure that you have ample time to be able to find things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're going to go, and I'll just show you basically in week one, there's your content. You've got two videos. I also added the online success tips here as well. Okay, we'll go into week two, because in week two, I'm going to show you a sample test. Now, your test will look something like this. It might say test one and give more detail to instructions. But this will be posted in the week of the syllabus. If your test is showing, I think it's in week four, I believe. So in week four, you will find a test when it's the test day and it opens up at eight o'clock in the morning on a Monday and closes at five o'clock on a Friday and you can choose when in that week you will write the test. You will have two attempts to write that test and you will have three hours to make those two attempts. You don't have to make two, you can do one. But sometimes what I find is if you've done one test and it took you an hour then you've got two hours left to make a second attempt. Might as well if you have the time and if you've managed your time well. All right, so let's have a look. Click on the test and there's the instructions. Now this is a sample test. This isn't real. So in this case, I've only allowed an hour, but I allow three. So you'll have two attempts that you can make. So that means you can start the test on Monday, do an attempt and say, you know what, I'm gonna do some more work and then I'm gonna come back to it on Thursday. And then come in to do your second attempt with the remaining two hours and you might improve your score. So what you do is you just click begin and it pulls up. Now notice there's a timer up here and question completion status. Two questions in this test and I haven't started yet. So the first question, what's the name of your instructor? Is it Barney Rubble from the Flintstones? Is it Steve Miller, not the band? Is it Bugs Bunny or I didn't know there was going to be an instructor? Uh, I'll give you a hint. 
I'm not a bunny and I'm not from the Flintstones. So Steve Miller, come over here, save your answer. Go to question two. Now notice when I said save my answer, it showed it as being complete. Now you cannot go backwards. Once you've made your answer and you've gone save and go to the next one, you can't go back to question one. Question two, what's the name of the course? I don't know. French Sociology 1 Accounting. Well, for those who aren't sure, I'll save you the embarrassment and say it's Sociology 1. So I will, it's saved and I'm going to submit my questions. Now you know you've completed because there's the two. They've been grayed out. It's taking me just under, a, just under two minutes, I guess, or just under a minute or just over a minute. So I'm going to save. Okay. And there I've completed. It's given me a summary of the test. Now I can go into grades and see what my test results are, but because I'm not a student in this shell, there's nothing there for me to see. Now the other thing I want to show you is when you do a journal. We're going to scroll down to week 10. Your assignment journal is here. So we go into week 10 and there it is. Now we're going to pretend for this exercise that this is both your assignment video journal and it's also a journal for example we're going to say journal one so if you're asked to do journal one it will be journal one written up here it'll have the same J indicator here so we're going to click on it like it's a journal now in this journal for an assignment you put your URL in here you put your script PDF and you put your two pieces of resources in a PDF format for a regular journal, it will look like what I've posted here beside me. You get a video, you get instructions on what to do with that video, and then you post your journal. Now, in either case, you need to come up to create a journal entry. Give it a title. The little asterisk just means it's mandatory. So for this purpose, we're going to use journal one. And so I can start typing here as if I've done, you know, I've watched the video and I've reflected. So I'm going to put my three paragraphs here by typing. And that's an option that you can do. And it's neither the best nor the worst. It's just an option. The alternative might be you might prefer to write in a Word document or a Pages document. Save it as a PDF on your computer. And then you can come down to Browse My Computer and grab that PDF for that journal. Now, conversely, or in addition, if you're doing your assignment journal, let's take that and go, so I can make a, an assignment, we'll take that part out, and we'll call this my video assignment. I'm going to put my share URL in here, so that's a cut and paste from Screencast-O-Matic or YouTube, depending upon where you're doing it from. You're going to go grab your script PDF and your two research pieces in PDF. So you go to um, my computer. It will open up a window will allow you to explore your computer. Let's pretend that these are two documents that I want to put in or all three of them are because there's my three PDFs. And we'll put them in. There are my three PDFs. Post entry. Do, do, do. There we go. Now I've got three PDFs, and if I had put my share URL, it would be there as well. Now you've posted your assignment. That's all you have to do. All right. Let's go back out to weekly learning. So make sure you follow the instructions. Read the instructions carefully. Feel free to ask me questions after you've watched the videos and read the documents, and I'll be plenty helpful for you. I'm, I'm sure I can be. All right, I think that's everything. So make sure you download your syllabus assignment and journal, put the dates in a calendar, and check announcements regularly and visit Blackboard regularly. I'm looking forward to this class with you. I hope you get a lot out of it. Sociology is about our place in society and how society became to be and what our role is in that and what society does to help us become who we are. So let's find out how we fit and where we fit and how the similarities and differences exist for each of us. All right, everybody, good luck. I look forward to having a chance to meet with you and I hope to see you soon. Good luck and bye for now.